New Senate President Ahmed Lawan has incurred the wrath of many in his party with his new appointment. Ahmed Lawan has chosen as his special advisor Festus Adedayo, who is known to be a huge critic of the APC and President Muhammad Buhari. He has also chosen to retain some members of staff of the past Senate President Bukola Saraki. Now, people are asking, why did Ahmed Lawan make this decision, his choice of staff? What does that mean? What is it saying about his reign in the Senate? And why is the APC so ticked off? People who don't believe in your agenda. Now, we are not talking about appointment. You people don't get this wrong. It is different from just appointing anybody. But if you have what you call a change manager, a change manager will come in with a team of people who believe in his vision. Now, these people are saying that they believe in the vision of this government. And then when you sideline them and then bring in people who fought virulently against that agenda, and then you now want them to help you drive the agenda, how will you achieve your purpose? To have that conversation right here on Root Cause, I have with me a person who knows the APC very well. In fact, he did contest for the Senate under the platform of the APC. It is good to have you, Daniel Bwala. He is a legal counsel, if I should use that. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming. All right. So why do you think Ahmed Lawan chose a dedayo? What is special about a dedayo that he chose to, you know, not align with the party's ideals and choose someone completely outside of the box? Right. So I think that his decision is ill-conceived and misdirected. Uh, because uh, I remember in 2015 when we took over government and the president made appointment of various, I mean, people into various posts such as the cabinet and then some of these uh, MDAs. Part of the complaint of party members was that the, the, the federal government or the president made a decision to appoint individuals that were not part of the party. In other words, people who didn't help out in bringing the government, they were appointed. And some of these individuals were even uh, either members of our party, but they were not part of the team that you know, struggled. But the decision by the Senate president is even worse. Worse off because, number one, we're not talking about people who are members of the party but didn't help out. Neither are we talking about neutrals. We are talking about known and prominent, I want to use the word haters of the party, because if I use the word critic, it is all right to criticize government as long as it is objective. I do criticize government decision sometimes if I feel objectively that the decision is not right. In this case, these are haters of the government. If you go to Twitter, you see it trending on Twitter, Facebook, and some of these other social media Sack handles. Festus Adedayo is right. trending. Festus Adedayo, who was uh, appointed as a media or spokesman for him. Yes. All that Festus had been saying since 2015 till date was to demarcate this government. Why do you think Ahmed Lawan chose Festus Adedayo of all of the people? We hear there were up to five people who were jostling for that he could have picked from. But mm -hmm. why this man? What does that say about him? I was even told that out of the six appointments, five of them were either uh, five of them were not just PDP members, but they were known critics of this government. So now, this is feeding into the narrative that Ahmed Lawal was brought in by people, and so he's carrying out their dictates. Because the whole idea is, if you came on your own honor and your own strength, your decision will reflect the ideology. Which of is the rather party. interesting, because if he was brought in by people, we would have assumed by the president and people loyal and close to the president if he was yeah. brought in by people. But now it's playing out completely differently. Now, um, we have heard as a rumor, I don't know if you can confirm that for us, that he probably has dropped Festus Adedaya following all the outcry from the APC. Is that true? Or is he carrying on with him? I also have read in one of our social media, of the APC aspirant social media, that they said he dropped Festus Adedaya. And the people are also insisting that he has to drop the remaining four who were known uh, critics of this administration. It doesn't all go well. It will not speak well of people who work tirelessly for the party. There are people who stake their lives at the risk of their profession, at the risk of their professional uh, integrity, risk their lives for this party. So now there is a fear that, ha that is going around, or rather I would say there is a fear that has pervaded members of APC to say, hope this is not symptomatic of what will happen when the president is ready to appoint his own people. 
because definitely it will be uh, it will tell very bad. Why would you even associate that with the president? I thought the president wouldn't be, um, you know, uh, um, aligned. No, not me. I'm saying it because I have seen, you know, people probably on social when I media say you, I'm talking about the ABC or members right, of the ABC. Maybe right, I use that in right. plural. But interestingly, a lot of people might say this shows that he's planning to be bipartisan. He's planning to carry every member of at least all the parties, all the opposition, which gives a robust Senate or makes democracy, which is what we are in, you know, yeah. a, um, an attractive factor. What? But then, why are you so uncomfortable with that? Ahmed Lawan's decision is not bipartisan. It is uh, the fulfillment of whatever promise he may have made when he was brokering deal with people to come as Senate president. Because when you talk of bipartisan decision, it must be one that relates to lawmaking. Section 4 is clear. They make laws. These are personal aids. So the people who, when he was running, didn't he have people that were struggling with him? Obviously, I know these ones because there are even most recent tweets by them. So how about the, the, his personal aid, people that were working with him in the past, reaching out to people on his behalf, speaking on his behalf, doing research for him, consulting on him. Where are they? What happened? Suddenly he became Senate president and they are no longer relevant may and I, you are going for someone who is out against ask, the party. These are his personal aides. His own people. You just you just took the word right out of my mouth. He's not like electing or rather constituting Senate committees, standing committees and putting Senate. These are people he will work with. Shouldn't he have the right to choose whoever he wants from whichever, however? These are his people. So here's the point. He has a right to choose whoever. But the people he would choose must be members of the party. And if not members of the party, there are individuals who are not members of the party, but they believe in the ideology of the government. It means you are bringing in people that believe in the vision of the party going forward. So even if he's in the PDP, and that person is one who is patriotic and wants a better Nigeria, it makes sense. But these individuals he brought in are known haters of the government. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. I'm talking about people who are very vocal and vociferous about their views against the wishes and the success of this administration. I mean, you are bringing in anti-progressive people to advise you. Because when you say personal aid, you're talking about people that will put together the package. Look at uh, uh, the Deputy Senate President, Omar Gege. Mm. Look at his appointment. Makes sense. Nobody's criticizing it. So if it is impression or sentiment, I mean, it will have been stretched to Omar Gege. So, so anybody who's not on board with what the president wants or what the party wants is anti-progressive. No. If you have heard me earlier, mm -hmm. I said even if the person is a member of mm -hmm. PDP, mm -hmm. if he's patriotic, he's not anti-progressive. If patriotism means I can have a very different opinion about you, right? But ultimately, if what you are looking, let's assume, let's take, for instance, the case of security. Everyone knows that we are, Nigeria is buffeted by security problem, right? So when it comes to security, we are not supposed to uh, uh, politicize it. It means that even if you're speaking from your perspective as a PDP person, and I'm speaking from my perspective as APC person, any neutral and common man who listens to us will know and appreciate that both of us are talking about solution to the problem. But what about a situation where I'm speaking about a solution and you are criticizing everything about even the solution? You are not providing solution, you are condemning me, and you are inciting the public against the government. May, may I ask a question? And that question really is about public image. You know, when, I'll give you an example, in a little room, a cluster of party faithfuls, you can have your disagreements, but mm -hmm. we're not supposed to know about it. Now, the ruling party, the APC, is antagonizing the third most powerful person in the country because of his appointments. How do you think that looks to the Nigerian, the average Nigerian, whether they voted for this party or not, that are looking up to you to make policies, to make decisions that would affect their lives? And they're seeing you bickering. It's like watching mommy and daddy bickering. What does, how does that of, don't you think that just isn't right? Couldn't you no. have done this in a way that it just doesn't blow up to affect our confidence? In on the, the contrast, on the contrast, that is what in a Sena democracy is needed. Meaning that you and I, because we belong to a party, will the, the law does not require or the law does not protect us to undermine the interests of the generality of Nigeria. Without prejudice to us being members of the same party, if you go wrong, I should be able to criticize you so that ABC 
both the neutrals and people from other parties should know that the fact that we're members of the same party is not a ground for us not to criticize each other if we think that that step is wrong. It's been wonderful talking to you, Daniel Boalan, getting your thoughts on all the things that we have been discussing right here. My pleasure on as Good always. Course. It's been wonderful. Thank you have you heard coming. all of his thoughts and I'm sure you have a lot of yours. You've got your opinions. Please communicate that to us on the comment section of this video. You've been watching Root Course and my name is Gloria Oje Emote.